Thanks for watching this demonstration of the XBRL Consistency Suite. Does your XBRL data communicate what you intended? Have you applied the same level of diligence in preparing XBRL data to tell your story as you do with the traditional financial reporting process? The tool I'm about to demonstrate can help you apply that level of diligence. It runs over 12,000 rules against your XBRL document to identify errors related to the use of the U.S. GAAP taxonomy. This comprehensive, consistent check is designed to become part of your standard XBRL controls process. I've logged into the web-based application. This is the home page of the Consistency Suite. It has three components. The checks, which I described earlier, company filings analysis, a database of XBRL submissions for research, and taxonomy view and compare, which shows two releases of the U.S. GAAP taxonomy. Let's look at the Consistency Checks tool. By clicking Summary Results, I can show you a listing of errors that we've seen in SEC submitted filings since 2008, the effective date of the mandate. This is a running tally of the number and category of errors, with the most common at the top. The most common error is concepts that are tagged with a negative value, but should have been reported as positive. The bottom of the screen shows an example from an SEC filing, Payments of Stock Issuance Costs which can be made to appear negative in a report by using a negated label, but the value should have been tagged as positive. Other things we check for include invalid combinations of axes and members, deprecated items, incorrect calculation weights, duplicate values that don't match. Over 12,000 rules in consistency checks find more than 30 categories of errors. To run the checks, upload a zip file of your XBRL document to our secure online system. A report is generated on the screen and your XBRL files are eliminated on our end. The report, which can be exported to Excel, shows you the severity of the message, an error, a warning, or an informational item. The second column is our error code. The third column provides the description of the situation which tells you which concept is at issue, which period and value, what the problem is, and how to resolve it. The checks are a standard part of XBRL controls process, not SEC validation or XBRL validation. They're a data quality check. The second part of the tool is Company Filings Analysis, an XBRL database that runs off a set of filters to search by company, filing, or concept. I'll pull up the advanced filter and add two companies. By clicking on values reported by filing, I pull in all XBRL tags reported along with their values, and I can now export this to Excel. There are lots of other analyses that can be performed here, but in the interest of time, I'm going to turn to the last piece of the tool, Taxonomy View and Compare. Here I can identify changes in a new release of the taxonomy that directly affect an individual company filing. I've selected Dell's most recent 10Q, and this screen shows all the concepts they used in that 10Q that have had a change in definition from the 2011 to 2012 taxonomy release. Here you can see track changes for easy comparison. We can also see which items they use that have been deprecated and are no longer supported. The idea is to make the transition to a new release as streamlined as possible. The XBRL Consistency Suite is an annual subscription which costs $2,500 for unlimited simultaneous users and unlimited use. That includes upfront training, ongoing support, and regular quarterly updates that we make to the tool. For more information, email us at consistencysuite at xbrl.us.